Alright, what's going on guys today? I just been doing a little yard work and stuff and decided to come out here in the garage and record a little intro. Um, and of course, as soon as I come out here, it's, it's starting to rain. Just my luck. You see how wet and it's starting to get nasty out there. It's alright. We can still do it. We're, we're in my favorite place anyway, the garage. You know, uh, so anyway, guys, uh, you know, welcome back. If you guys um, are new to my to my channel, um, you're watching Classic Chevys with CJ the Cigar Man, and of course, I'm the Cigar Man. Um, so um, we are about to get started putting a logo on the '53 panel. So if you guys watched the previous video, we've already got it cleaned up. We got it painted that Smurf blue. Um, and I tell you what, I was a little skeptical about that Smurf blue at first, guys. Especially um, when she was just solid. Um, after I sprayed um, some spots as far as where I wanted that patina to be at, I think she turned out pretty good. I, I think she's going to be be alright. It broke it up a lot and stuff. And I tell you, I'm, I'm falling in love with that color every time I look at it. So... Uh, what we're going to do next is actually, it's a, it's a step, hopefully that glare ain't bothering you guys too much, uh, but it's a step as far as um, when you're doing this, it's called Fotina. So what we have to do is I made a uh, template, um, actually I didn't make it, but Count's Customs wife made it for me. Um, we just used a, like a large cricket machine and we um, made my logo that I wanted on the side of my truck uh, for my business. And then we took the stencil and we sprayed, um, we taped it up against the side of the panel and we actually used like seven different colors to get that logo, you know, the way I wanted it. And so then we actually sprayed, you know, like the beige color on there. And then after that, we sprayed the red, taped off the letters. We had to tape after it dried for 10, 15 minutes, we taped it back up and sprayed the other color. So um, it's a process and it does take a, a little time you got to be patient with this though you know you just can't go in there and spray and stuff and it, it'll be ragged it look it won't look right so um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get into this video and um, I'll get back with you guys midway and let's see how this logo turned out all right Six or seven coats are clear on this baby. She's shining like a brand new penny. I'm gonna 
logo I designed. That's my father-in-law initials. JFL, John Frederick Leonard. All right, man. Hey, I tell you what, old Counts Customs, he, he on the J-O-B, man. I'm telling you. You know, I kind of came up with the idea with the logo and everything. And, and um, we, we actually did um, really two other trucks with logos. He um, actually had a truck, and I explained to him we need to use, like, the air gun, or I'm sorry, like, it's a touch-up spray gun on um, uh, one of his trucks because it was a, a, a smaller pattern and stuff. So we basically um, airbrushed that and stuff and I actually helped him airbrush and I airbrushed his tailgate for him. So that's how we kind of came up with the idea with the logo and everything. So, and, and like I told you guys, it's a process as far as that logo. You know, then we was able to clear over the logo um, and paint it. And I tell you what, that paint job is just, I mean, it's glycerin. I mean, if that's the word, if that's the word, that's what it's doing. That the paint job is just so nice. I wish you guys could see it in person and stuff. And also, I want to point out to you guys, I lost my um, father-in-law um, a couple of years ago, and you know we've been in business at the at my shop for 38 years, and I've owned it for 15 years. Or well, going actually, this August will be 15 years. So my father-in-law actually taught me everything I know about the cigar business and so that cigar the jfl you know about 10 years ago i actually got a cigar blended for him and everything that was his favorite cigar and i named it the jfl and he always wanted um you know some type of advertisement you know whenever he was in business and stuff he was never able to do that so i kind of took it upon myself to basically have a you know a pet you know i always wanted a panel truck but I said I wanted something to do something very special with this panel truck. I just didn't want to get the panel truck just to be having one. You know, it, it meant this panel truck it means so much to me. And for me to be able to um, dedicate this panel truck to my father-in-law was just his name is John Frederick Leonard. As you guys saw with the cigar, I actually um, had that band made and stuff, and I was able to incorporate his initials in that band and. Um, if you guys look real careful, carefully, he was a big baseball, um, you know, fan, and he was a, a baseball scout at one time. So he had just had the love for baseball. And if you look at the original band that I have um, and that we have in our cigar, that's uh, dedicated to him, is basically his initials inside of a ball diamond. And it was hard to put that on the the truck because you know you had to get an artist to draw it and stuff. But um, on the original band, it has JFL and it's in a baseball diamond and it's surrounded by gold leaves. And um, I just want to give you guys a little bit of, you know, why I actually put that on the truck and the meaning behind it. And I think it's a very meaningful meaning. So hopefully you guys appreciate that as much as I do. And I hope that you guys are enjoying this video. I'm having a blast with this um, vehicle. And I tell you what, I just think that um, you guys watching my videos and stuff, and I'm putting the videos out, it means so much to me that you people are actually watching this. I never expect to be putting anything on YouTube, and I look at it like it's a blessing. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I, I really don't care if there's only two people watching my videos, you know, my wife and myself. Um, I, I still put them out there, but just because you guys are watching these videos, it makes me more hungry and I want to do a good job for y'all guys. Um, and hopefully you guys will be able to learn something 
um, because I'm learning a lot. It's very humbling as well. And I, I, I tell you what, I give it to those guys that's been doing YouTube and creating movies and, you know, putting them on the YouTube channel and stuff. That's the inspiration to me as well. I mean, I'm an old guy, but I still get inspired. And you guys are inspiring me. I don't know if I'm doing any type of inspiring, but I tell you what, you guys are inspiring me to, you know, get up in the morning and try to give you guys good content, um, stuff that you want to see. Yes, this video. Right, so I just want to say big thanks and thumbs up to Big Counts Customs over his place for letting me use his garage. I just can't say it enough. Um, you know, because it takes a lot to do this and stuff. And sometimes, you know, people need a little help. And, hey, he was there for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'd be there for him. Make sure so I, I let you guys know. After we painted the logo and we put the clear coat on, on there, um, that was it for that day. But the very next day, we came back and we actually started on the front fenders um, and everything. So I just want to let you guys know whenever you guys see me going from the cab, um, painting a cap and everything and then I'm showing the um, The front fenders and also the doors. I just want to let you guys know that wasn't the same day We actually had to let it dry overnight. We moved everything out of the um, paint booth and then we brought the um, The doors and the fenders and stuff back in and then we sprayed it So I just want to clear that up for you guys and just uh, give you a heads up on that I got a document that people won't ever believe us.
All right, guys, we have reached the end of this video. Let me get out of this dark. I tell you what, I have been getting into these dark spots. I'm trying to learn to stay away from them. Maybe I just stay right here and so you guys can see my face. Uh, but anyway, we're coming to the end of the video. I want to keep it short because the, the last um, interruption I was rambling on, and I don't want to keep this video too long for you guys. I love being on you know camera talking to you guys and explaining um, my vehicle. I got so much passion I can talk and talk and talk about these classic trucks and vehicles that, that we're working on. But anyway, I just want to say don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. My name is CJ, the Cigar Man. And if you got a good cigar, a fast truck, smoke them if you got them, baby.